What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another player pack review. So today we're going to be taking a look at the club icons. Now if you are new to the series or new to the franchise, new to the game, new to eFootball at all, you will probably notice that these are slightly different. They are available for nominating contracts. So the only way you can get nominating contracts is through the match pass. You will see here when you go into the actual match pass here, you will see that along the way, whether it's regular, which is the free one, the value one or the premium, obviously you get more uh, rewards with the value and the premium because they cost money. But this regular one is free and you will see here that you get four star, three star and five star nominating contracts. So simply play 50 matches and you will be able to sign any of these players that you see here and the players that we're going to be reviewing and looking at and analyzing here with this match pass so it's just 15 games and as you see as you go in along there is more contracts obviously for the the premium version of the match pass so that's how you do it so obviously these players aren't coins is basically what i'm saying right so they're nominating contracts you'll see here that i have one five star nominating contract and three four star and then ten three three uh ten three stars so all of these players have a valuation here right five star five star four star three star three star three star and all the way up so there's three 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 five stars uh three four stars the rest three stars so we're going to go through these one by one i'm not going to spend a massive amount of time on some of the players that i don't think are worth it unless you're like if you're basically starting off you can buy pretty much all of these standard players and don't waste your nominating contracts there, especially a four star or a five star. Don't waste that. If you are looking for a top class player, I will give you my recommendations at the end, depending on where you're building your squad. And we're also going to be going, going to be doing the ultimate training guide per player. So we are going to actually start with Quagliera, if that's how you pronounce his name, lads. I am desperate at pronunciations. So we are going to start with him. I remember this guy back in, I'd say, Pez... 2009 in master league he was that he's, he's he's that old he's 39 years of age so a player like this is obviously going to be limited for pace um he does have unwavering form he does have a load of player skills as well first time shot this is how i would train him up there's nothing really too much to shout home about here you don't need to train up too much with um with any like you know different stats or whatever just complement what he already has you're not going to get that acceleration and speed up but what you can get up and a lot of people seem to miss this is with the dexterity that scales obviously to include your offensive awareness and your balance so you're not really worried about the acceleration you're more worried about the balance and the offensive awareness and similarly with the dribbling you want your tight possession here because what you want is when you're passing to a slow uh center forward especially if they're a fox in the box or a goal poacher you want the ball to stick to their foot and to be able to just turn and shoot that's all you want or to be able to bring others into play so you can upgrade the shooting one if you want there the dribbling of 10 eight for shooting nine for dexterity and seven for lower body strength we also have joaquin who's kind of one of the the golden oldies 41 years of age absolute beast as well and similar with him you're going to be training up exactly what makes him joaquin right you're going to be making him very very good dribbler passer not going to focus too much on acceleration but you are going to boost up dexterity and lower body strength to have the balance up the offensive awareness up the speed and the acceleration up and most importantly that offensive awareness is going to be what carries him up and down the pitch even if he doesn't have amazing stamina you'll be able to bring him on in the second half or maybe even start him um, when he is in form if he is in form he does have some fairly decent stats across the board and i mean look you always like legends like that he does have super sub as well which is pretty decent long range shooting and true pass and pinpoint crossing he also has early crosser so you can play him as a really out and out right wing kind of like crossing in the ball with swinging the crosses in right we also have Trigueras, this guy here center midfielder this guy's very disappointing i think i don't think that you could be you'd be buying him he does have standard form he's got some nice player skills but to be honest center midfielders like this and better than this are a dime a dozen lads genuinely a dime a dozen there is no point in my in my opinion wasting any uh, nominating contract on him unless you are a fan of him or a fan of villarreal the club that he plays with um he does go up obviously to an 88 center midfielder that's my training guide for him so 10 into passing nine into dribbling and dexterity and five into lower body strength but he's a skip for me also a skip i would say is davies even though you can get his um his stats up pretty decently he does have standard form there he doesn't have blocker which is a pity for a center back but he can play left back as well which would be quite decent and he does go to an 87 overall as a center back there with 93 engagement 89 tackle 
He actually has good dribbling stats and pass stats without even touching them. If you wanted to upgrade them a little bit, you could. But I think max out his defensive stats and that will probably carry you through a good bit. But to be honest, lads, he's not going to be somebody that changes the dial too much, in my opinion. We also have the goalkeeper here, Muslera. Um, 90 reflexes but 77 catching and 75 reach so give him a skip as well in my opinion I don't think that he's worth it at all I mean there's so many good goalkeepers there now for like under 100,000 or even under 200,000 that you can actually afford very easily with just a couple of games played we also have Maxi Arnold here as well from Wolfsburg He's on E rating this week, so that's going to be a bit of a pity. He does have some nice player skills. Obviously, these need, need to be filled in as well. The lads are updating that from what they've told me. The guy's an E football DB. Um, but everything else is nice. He's got unwavering form there, which means he's going to be more up than not. And he does have some nice player skills. But look, all of these players, you can get very, very similar players, if not better players, in the standard GP market for them. Same as uh, Jamie Vardy, you're not going to lead your team with Vardy at the top. You know, I know he's a goal poacher, he's got 10 dexterity, there's the training guide for him. You're going to have 88 acceleration, 89 offensive awareness and 85 finishing but, and 82 balance. But there's just so many good uh, centre forwards that you can buy that can do a job for you in and, out, in and around that place. Now, he does actually have a very unique... Um, player card where you talk about like he's going to be able to get back with track back he has one touch pass he also has standard form there one touch pass first time shot is always good and fighting spirit so he will be a bit of a workhorse for you leading the line up front but yeah for me he's not going to be worth it we also have this center back again he's pr pretty similar to davies um slightly kind of taller or slightly the same kind of build as him um, you're going to have all the strength and uh, defense stats that you have there but he is going to struggle a little bit with the dribbling and the tight possession he's not as good on the ball as some of the other striker or some of the other center backs that you can get now what I will say is I do like the fact that this guy <coughs> um, this guy does have blocker and interception which are two of the best quality defensive uh, player skills that you could possibly want so don't ever buy a center back without those blocker and interception or at least one of them if they don't have blocker and interception then you need something like man marking if you are going to be defending manually but i'll get into another video of that we also have reese james so reese james is a bit of a beast um he's been a player that i've kind of like used a good bit he got me up to division one when we first started now there's two ways that you can uh, you can train reese james as a training guide right so this is the base 31 levels and then we have seven into passing eight into dribbling i would probably just put four into passing depending on how you're going to be playing and maybe put five into passing to get it up to 78 dribbling up to 82 83 um, for tight possession and then this is our base for him now if you want to have a defensive minded uh, Reese James I would pump in the rest into that put 10 into defense get his aggression up his tackling up everything up like that if you're looking for a kind of a like a, a mixed kind of player I would put maybe six into defending to get that aggression up to 80 maybe five into aggression there and then I would pump the rest into dexterity so that he can get up and down the pitch with that 80 offensive awareness he's going to be very attack based there so two ways of kind of training him there not to make it too complicated I think Reese James is one of the ones I would definitely definitely recommend we also have Ratti you can see his max overall there is a 93 with the way we've trained him but look at the stats man 91 balance 80 acceleration we've also got 92 ball control 90 dribbling and 96 tight possession so he's in the upper tier of center midfielders attacking midfielder style players that can just absolutely dominate possession never misplace a pass obviously look the game when it plays chaotic there's nothing you can do but when you have players like this you know and if you're able to control the game it always is good to have good players on the ball that are able to control the game we also have last but not least we have the main man himself i have very been, been very impressed with this guy oyarzabal um, I've played with him as a kind of a, I mean, he's basically like um, a really, really good AMF, right? Look at the stats. Now, we have been given an abundance of choice with AMFs, um, but he's on B form this week. And as you can see there with the form, he is on B form. And look at the stats, man. Absolutely insane stats, again, as usual. And he also does have some really, really nice player skills. One touch pass, true pass and heel trick, long range shooting, pinpoint crossing, gamesmanship he is unwavering form he's long range amazing run and incisive run is his playing style so his ai when you're not controlling him is going to be making really good runs and he just handles really well he's one of those kind of hidden gems and i think that uh, he, everyone should should sign him if you are looking for a top class amf and you don't have a top class amf 
So that is it, lads, for the club icons. If I had to pick one with the training guys, you can see them on the screen there. I would definitely pick Oyarzabal, Verratti, or Reese James. They would be my three picks for the five star. Obviously, it goes without saying. And then I think the rest of it is just kind of a personal choice. I think there's a lot of misses or skips in this. Um, obviously, you'll have the two golden oldies if you want to build your squad around them or just have them in for a bit of crack. Um, but for the rest of the boys, yeah, I think Verratti, if I had to put kind of like one there that's worth it, Verratti, apart from him not having unwavering form, I think he definitely is the pick of the lot. So that is it, lads, for the club icons. We will be back with another video quite soon where we'll be doing the player transfers. And we will have the other videos up very, very soon as well later on today, as well as a live stream later on today. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed it, lads, and we will talk to you later. Peace.